So I wanted to take a few minutes with this video to talk about three interesting PlayStation 5 stories. And if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it. And as always, it's very much appreciated. Now, the stories I want to dive into today includes the next God of War getting leaked with further validation. <laughs> I'm excited to talk about more God of War coming on the way. Uh, I love the franchise, as you guys already know. Let's not take long here. I'm excited. We're going to talk about it. But to continue, Sony bought a new studio out of nowhere and Silent Hill to release date. First, yes or no, have you finished God of War Ragnarok or not? We're going to be talking about what's next. But before that, I'm curious how many of you have finished Ragnarok at this point. So comment below. Yes or no, if you finish God of War Ragnarok or not, let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the first story of the video, the Silent Hill 2 remake release date. So, when I first saw this, I got a bit excited because I love horror movies. I love horror games in Halloween month or uh, before it, like in September, which is when I start my spooky season uh, in September. I love all of that. It's fall. The Halloween vibe is starting to set in around the neighborhood with people putting de decorations up to get that spooky vibe going in the neighborhood. People are watching horror content. Online games are starting their Halloween events. It's my favorite time of the year, as I've mentioned before on the channel. So, <laughs> Silent Hill 2. Recently, it's been going around that the PlayStation Store has updated their release date for Silent Hill 2 to coming soon from release date to be determined. This seems to originate from X account Resi Evil Central. And on their post, they say this. Could we be about to hear the new Silent Hill 2 remake news? The Silent Hill 2 remake PlayStation Store page has been updated to coming soon. It used to say release date to be determined. Now again, I would love to hear Silent Hill 2 news soon. And hopefully we do in an upcoming state of play or showcase, whatever it may be. But the problem with this is that the de to be determined part of it is what they have on the PlayStation app. And coming soon is what they have on the PlayStation store, the PlayStation 5 store. I'll give you another example. Stellar Blade, which we've been waiting to hear more information about for a long while at this point. Uh, Sony, what's going on with Stellar Blade? Just, just tell us at this point. I don't know what the waiting is, is for, but... Uh, getting back on topic, on the PlayStation app for Stellar Blade, it says release date to be determined on the PlayStation 5 store. It says coming soon. That's all this is. It's the, the difference between the PlayStation app and the PlayStation 5 store. So I assume it was already there on the PlayStation 5 store for Silent Hill that it said coming soon before this person made their post. Even in their image, you can see the PS app type background for the release date to be determined post. If it was on the PlayStation 5 store, it would have a transparent background. Right now on the PlayStation app, it still says release date to be determined for the Silent Hill 2 uh, release date. So just a heads up there, nothing changed with the release date for Silent Hill 2 as far as I can tell, but hopefully we do hear more information soon. Rumors have it set to release either in late September or early 2024. It's probably early 2024 at this point, considering we have not heard anything in a long while. Uh, but of course, let's wait and see. Now, diving into the second story of the video, Sony buys new studio. Reading from Push Square, Sony Interactive Entertainment is set to acquire Audis, a company specializing in audio technology and headphones. The cost of the acquisition hasn't been disclosed. If you're unfamiliar, Audis manufactures several lines of high-end headphones, including gaming headsets. It also developed its own audio technology, such as its, such as its own planar magnetic technology. When the acquisition closes, Audis will fall under the Sony Interactive Interactive Entertainment umbrella, PlayStation, but it'll continue to operate independently and make multi-platform devices while benefiting from being a part of the PlayStation ecosystems. Sony's Hideki uh, Nishino talks up the company in a statement on the deal. Audis is a premier brand for headphones and this acquisition highlights Sony Interactive's focus on innovation and providing the best audio experience to PlayStation players, he says. We're excited to bring Audis' exper expertise into the PlayStation ecosystem, building on the great strides we've made with the PlayStation 5's Tempest 3D Audio Tech and the Pulse 3D wireless headset. This news comes just after Sony announced two new wireless PlayStation audio devices, the over a year uh, headset Pulse Elite and the Pulse Explorer earbuds. So 
For me, I love how Sony has been putting more and more focus on audio technology. We recently talked about the PlayStation 5 Pro and how Sony intends to improve on their Tempest 3D audio engine with that. So this kind of kind of backs that up. It seems like Sony's really uh, trying to push uh, 3D audio, trying to push audio to a higher tier on PlayStation. I already have a Razer Kyra Pro headset, which sounds great, and I love the haptics on that thing, but I'm going to be getting one of uh, PlayStation's new headsets later this year, either the Elite or the Explorer earbuds. I'm still deciding on which one I should go with. It seems like Sony might have developed these new headsets with Audis as the new headsets also have planar technology and the timing is just so close to each other. The timing of the acquisition and the timing of them revealing more information on the new headsets. But you guys let me know if you plan on getting one of these new PlayStation 5 headsets later this year or not. Let me know down in the comments below. And now diving into the final story of the video, the next God of War leak. So this year, we've seen multiple indications that more God of War is on the way. Earlier this year, we had a job listing for a combat designer for companions asking for experience with the last two God of War games and their combat systems. And more recently, we saw two more job listings for a combat designer and a senior combat designer asking for the same thing. At this point, it was clear that more God of War seems to be on the way. Known leaker The Snitch put out a sort of puzzle recently for people to solve, it seems. Uh, we're not going to go through that puzzle, but when it was finally solved, he made a post saying, Project God of War Ragnarok DLC is on the way. Here we go. The Snitch has a pretty solid track record, as we know, and add this to the job listings, more God of War really just seems to be confirmed at this point that it's it's coming. Uh, people have pointed out that the Snitch might be someone who has uh, back access to YouTube and can uh, access trailers that haven't been posted up publicly but are uploaded in the back. That's why his leaks are very close to the reveals. So I wonder if this is one of them. Are we actually going to get a trailer for this DLC in, a, in an upcoming show in the near future? Or maybe he does have a different source on this one and it's not necessarily uh, YouTube trailers or something like that. We'll see how this all plays out, of course. As for the game, based on the ending of God of War Ragnarok, it seems like this is an Atreus story uh, focused on finding the giants. If, if you finished Ragnarok, that's kind of where it looked like it was going. Atreus is fine, but I play God of War for Kratos, so hopefully he's involved here in some way. This will also possibly be a standalone game like we've been saying for a while, uh, a PS5 game like Miles Morales, and uh, to give this leak even further credence, Fellow Twitter creator or ex-creator uh, Okami took down his God of War Ragnarok DLC reporting leak uh, since two God of War developers blocked him after he posted it up, which is crazy. <laughs> to those that blocked him, you just basically validated the leak even more so. That's 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 further confirmation that this thing is actually happening. And uh, I don't think o Okami meant any negativity towards the team. He just posts up leaks and information like all of us did. All of us posted uh, this this leak coming from the, the snitch. And of course, you guys also have God of War, uh, you know, job listings, three of them. At this point, it's kind of just connecting the dots that, yeah, there's more God of War uh, on the way. Hopefully, you know, they unblock Okami uh, because I'm pretty sure he had no ill will for that. But to continue, uh, that's pretty much it. We have three job postings, the snitch and God of War developers blocking Okami after he posted up the, the leak. So it seems to be validated that more God of War is on the way. But you guys let me know if you're excited for more God of War or not. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. As it always, helps to subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is the body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comments section with the weekend is here. The weekend is here. Finally, some of, some of us can start playing some games. I won't be able to this weekend though since I'm going to be uh, at a cottage. So uh, jacuzzi and uh, the lake for me and barbecue. So I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that. And uh, you know, 
if you guys are excited to have the weekend be here and play some video games or whatever you guys might be up to destroy the comment section with the weekend is here and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays at the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one